What's up, gamers? Recently, I decided to make a game that is somewhat similar to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, which is a complete coincidence. And if you don't know what that game is, it's basically a bunch of physics-based characters fighting each other. And so, to make that myself, I created these two physically-based fighters. Now, as you can see, there are a few problems with the system that I have. Uh, the first one is that these guys can't move, so they can't actually fight each other. And the other problem is that, as you can see, they're just playing the same animation over and over again, which, you know, could technically work, but it's not really that good, if we're being honest. And the way to fix it is with procedural animation. Procedural animation is kind of similar to regular animation, but instead of manually moving the character's bones to create an animation, you use physics and math to simulate an animation, which is a lot harder than just manually doing the animation. But because I'm a professionally trained animator who took one animation course in university, I don't think it should be that hard to make procedural animations for this game. Now, I know that I said that I'm a professionally trained animator, but I also haven't really ever done procedural animation. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. But what I do know is that if I go to, if I go to Unity's package manager and I search up inverse kinematics, uh, nothing shows up. Okay, that's the wrong thing to search up. Um, animation? Here, if I, the animation rigging package, I'm pretty sure that this'll help me make procedural animation, <laughs> but I don't know. I guess I'll just install it and I'll figure it out. Boom, it's installed. Okay, now what do I do? <laughs> Documentation, animation rigging. Okay, so it's got a bunch of topics I can go through to learn how this all works. So the first thing I need to do to get procedural animation working is to create a character rig. Oh man, this is a lot of reading. This is like the amount of words that I normally read in like a month. So I've been working on this animation rig for a while and now you might notice that this guy is surrounded by balls and I'll explain that later, but for now, I'll just show you what I've got. So if I hit play, boom. As you can see, these red balls are the targets for where the limbs go. The blue balls are like the hints. So it's like where the elbow points or where the knee points. Now it's not perfect. There are some issues, but it mostly works. And I can show you as well. If I enable the ragdoll, the active ragdoll, I can move this and then the active ragdoll responds. So I can just look, he's running. That's really only the first step is just getting it set up. The second step is to actually use these balls to create animations. I'm not 100% sure how you do that. Like for example, if I wanna make him punch, I have to have his hand. I have to set the target to where he wants to punch, but then do I just play a punch animation? Is that how that works? Here, you know what, let me test it. Okay, so no, clearly that does not work. <laughs> what is this guy doing? How does this happen? I thought everything was working. Okay, clearly there's something that I do not understand. My physics-based character is not following physics, so I did something wrong. It doesn't matter because the main point is that I got the rig set up and now I just have to figure out <laughs> how to make it work with animation. Like I mentioned, I'm a professionally trained animator, so I should be able to figure this out pretty easily and everything should work perfectly like it currently is so far. So at the moment, I'm making a procedural walk animation for this guy. And right now, I mean, he can't walk, but his feet stay on the ground if you try and move him down and he can squat. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Look at this, look at this, pretty cool. Now I actually have to make him like step forward when you move him, which I don't really know how to do, but I'm sure the tutorial I'm watching will explain it to me. Okay, so I've done a little bit of programming, which definitely wasn't me just like, you know, stealing from a tutorial, it was all, original code. And now I think if I go to these targets and I set a step distance of, let's just say 0 0.25 and I hit play, he should step. Okay, or not. <laughs> um, why isn't this working? After many long hours of programming and trying to get this guy to walk, I think it is finally at a point where it is mostly working. Look at this, look at those feet. Look at them take those steps and alternate. Boom, magnificent. Not, not the feet, the system. Moving on. So the walking works. He can take steps, right? Now I can adjust the values a little bit to make it a little bit better, but it's like pretty much working. I'll give a little explanation of how it works. So one foot steps and then the other foot steps. And that's, that's, that's pretty much it. But anyway, it's working. He can take his steps and he can walk off into the distance. Now I will say the, the problem with this is if I move him too fast, the legs don't really keep up and he just hovers. I'm just gonna ignore that for now because I don't really know how to fix it. And you know, I might just be able to make him walk slowly and then I don't have to worry about it. So it, I'm just, 
I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Now, the actual problem is that this guy that I am moving is just the animated version of the character, which all this is is the reference for the physics-based character. So, like, if I move the targets, you can kind of see the ragdolls moving and it kind of works, but then sometimes it also doesn't work. Like, if I move this guy around, you can see the, the legs don't really... He's not really walking like the animated guy is, so I have to figure that out. Now, uh... I have tried a little bit to make it work. <laughs> it's just that, um, yeah, I kind of made it worse. At least now I know one thing not to do. So I'll let you know once I've got the ragdoll working a little bit better. Well, at least better than whatever this thing that I created was. All right, so it's been like, I think it's been like two days. I've kind of lost track of time, but I think it's been about two days since I got the animation for the walking working and I've been trying to make it work with the ragdoll and Wait, let me show you. Look, the feet are on the ground. Where's my cube? Let me get my cube. He can't actually walk yet, so the only way for me to test this is to uh, move his body with this cube by slamming it into him at great speeds. Like this. And look at that. He's walking. I'm actually surprised. It actually works fairly well. Like, there are some cases like this where the feet cross and it, like, it doesn't really work. Like, I don't know. I think it's good enough. I mean, how good does it need to be, right? This is already pretty decent. Except there are two problems. And the first is that... Uh, this guy, he can't, I mean, he can't walk on his own. I have to push him with this cube, which, you know, I don't, I don't mind because it is kind of fun to beat him up a little bit, but for the final game, I need him to be able to walk on his own. So that's what I need to do. And the other problem is that his hands, uh, also don't do anything. And usually when walking, you move your hands a little bit, but he doesn't. Now that problem, I'm just going to leave for a little bit because I'm not a hundred percent sure what to do with that because I also want him to be able to like punch, right? Like pew, pew, pew. So the first thing I'm going to work on is just letting him move on his own. So I don't have to use this stupid cube to move him. Now, the thing with getting him to move is what I normally do in most of my games is I would just add in a nav mesh agent component like this. But since this is an entirely physics based character that moves with physics, um, I don't really think this will work at all. What I actually need to do is make a move with physics, which is quite a bit more difficult, which is seeming like everything I'm trying to do is more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, what, what is he doing? Anyway, I'm pretty sure what I can do, because if I move the hips here, you can see he walks. If I can just control the hips with physics and add forces to make him walk, I think that is kind of what I need to do to get this to work. So, uh, I guess I gotta make a script and <laughs> do some programming. That'll be fun. So I've done a lot of programming here, which is mostly just the animal AI script for my racing game. I kind of just took that and I, you know, changed it a little bit, but there should be a green ball on the ground. Boom, green ball. So that's where he'd walk to. This is good news. I think this means that the rest of it is gonna work flawlessly. I guess I'll work on that. Okay, boom, three lines of code added. I think, I think this should make this guy move towards the target. Actually, let me get rid of my, I don't need my cube anymore. What am I doing? This guy can walk. Let's see, he should just dart around to a bunch of different targets. Oh yeah, look at this. I think this is working pretty perfectly if you ask me. This is great, dude. It's just working. Okay, so there are maybe some problems. I don't know, why is he skipping like that? Okay, there might, there might just be an issue. What could have possibly gone wrong here, dude? Okay, well, uh, you know, it's mostly working, which is good, but you know, I guess I'll just spend a little bit more time off camera fixing the quirks and I'll let you know once it's working because then I can start working on making this guy punch because I realize I've so far spent all this time just trying to get him to walk, which isn't, I just want him to punch people. I don't, I don't care if he can walk properly or not, but I guess he does kind of have to. Anyway, I'll update you then. Okay, so I've made some adjustments to the walking system and <laughs> when I say I made some adjustments, I mean I rescripted the entire system so it's basically a completely new walking system but if i hit play you can see once it loads that oh he's going the other direction it actually looks pretty good i mean it's not perfect but it like actually works i think it's pretty good i mean it like actually walks all through programming all through physics now i know i've said that this is pretty much done but there is one small problem and that's that he can't move his arms which if you've ever seen somebody walk or walked yourself, which I don't really do, but I'm sure other people do, you usually move your arms at least a little bit. They kind of just sit at his side and don't move at all. So that's the next thing I'm gonna work on. Plus actually making a punch animation since that's kind of the entire reason I'm doing this. So I'll be back once I've made a little bit of progress on that. So I've been working on this punch animation for a lot longer than I think I want to admit. It's been a very long time, but it's pretty much working. So the first thing I did is if I hit play, you can see, look at this. I created this little pose for him. So, you know, it kind of looks like he's a fighter. Look at that. He's in the, the fighting pose, you know? 
looks very intimidating. And if I turn on his AI, and you can see that he can walk around in this very intimidating pose, which is cool and everything. But the main thing I did was create the punch animation. And to show you that, I've set up this little fight. So as you can see, I've got my blue guy and my red guy. And if I hit play, they should walk towards each other and start beating each other up. So fingers crossed. Okay, here we go. And there they go, they're hopping towards each other. <laughs> they're, they're hitting each other. Whoa, isn't that a really good animation? What do you guys think? Am I a professional animator or what? That's pretty good, right? Now, I will admit it's a little underwhelming at the moment, but I know how to fix this. I think, I, I haven't really tested it, but I'm pretty sure I know how to fix this. So what I did in my punching script is I added in right here, punch force. So basically what this does is it adds force to the punch. Uh, not to the person that's being punched, but to the person punching. It like launches them forward, which I think maybe will make the animation look better. If I put in a punch force of 50,000. <laughs> okay, that's not really what I was going for. I mean, it kind of works. I think the problem is the hand doesn't have enough weight, so the punch doesn't do anything. That kind of works though, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. But the other thing that I kind of need to do that I haven't done is basically have the punch like actually apply a force to the other character. Right now the hand doesn't really do anything. It, it, it doesn't do much. So I created a quick little script to put on the hand and now the punch should look even better. Okay, and let's see. Okay, and they're walking together and they're gonna hit each other. Boom, and they're fighting. Now the arms are a little, uh, Wobbly, but you know, I, is that really a problem? Is that really a problem? This is pretty good to be fair considering all, all of the all of the pain I've gone through to get this working I think this is probably fine, but these guys can fight and that's really all that matters It took me like two weeks to make I mean look at the quality right something this high quality definitely takes two weeks to make Anyway, there is one more thing that I need to do. Let's just add some more of him Just you know just a few more of these red guys and you know what take the blue guy we get a few more blue guys in here. Just a little bit, you know, not not too many. It's a brawl, it's a fight. Are these guys even fighting? It, they're just, li li they're hugging each other. What is this? What is, they're not even fighting, dude. You're not supposed to love each other. You're supposed to fight each other. What is this? Aside from, you know, those two over there, this is kind of working with multiple people. I mean, there's not a whole lot of strategy to it, but it doesn't need to be strategy. I just want to watch people beat each other up. So I guess that's pretty much all the procedural animation done for the game. And all it took was two weeks of suffering. But this Unity project will be up on my Patreon for anyone that wants to, use this. I don't really know what you're going to use it for, but if you want it, it's there. And then the next thing I need to do for this game is uh, actually make it into a game. I don't really know how I'm going to do that, but I mean, I'm sure I can figure something out, right? I mean, this is a pretty good starting point for a game. Just a bunch of people beating each other up. What else do you need? Gameplay says who? So I'll see you next time. Peace out, gamers.